we'll talk about tryptophan operon now in the earlier video we discussed about lac operon which is an inducible operon so tryptophan operon is a repressible operon that means it normally remains in on situation and it can be turned off as and when the conditions change so it is normally in on mode and can be turned off now let us draw this operon first and then we will take both the situations as we said it is normally in on so here we are drawing the on mode first in lac operon which normally remains in off mode we made the off situation first here the operon is again pretty much same there are some regulatory genes and structural genes regulatory gene has promoter or regulatory structure has promoter gene then there is a repressible gene which is going to produce one protein one more promoter gene followed by operator gene this is the regulatory part and then the remaining part is the structural gene part in case of tryptophan operon there are five structural genes and they are written as a b c d and e we can also write them as trp for tryptophan trp a b and c and so on so these are the structural genes same thing p here stands for promoter gene and promoter gene is the site where our rna polymerase attaches so here is one rna polymerase and here is another rna polymerase so this is the enzyme rna polymerase in normal situation we said that this operon remains in on mode that means this process is continuously taking place now what happens and what gets transcribed when this rna polymerase slides over this much part we are talking about only these first two genes promoter gene where this polymerase is attached and then the repressor gene as rna polymerase slides over this repressor gene it undergoes transcription and translation so here transcription and translation both take place and this results in the formation of a protein and this protein acts as an apo enzyme it acts as apo enzyme when we talk of enzymes we say that the whole enzyme molecule is holo enzyme and that holo enzyme is made up of a protein part that is apo enzyme and some non protein part is attached it can be prosthetic group it can be a coenzyme cofactor anything so this is inactive on its own apo enzyme will not work so this is inactive and as this is inactive it is just synthesized and it remains there it doesn't bind to anything or doesn't react with anything this other uh, rna polymerase is attached to the next promoter gene the operator gene is the one which is going to let the transcription process take place so this polymerase when slides over this these five enzymes they get synthesized and all these enzymes are actually tryptophan synthetases so tryptophan synthetases that means using the raw material these enzymes will help in synthesis of tryptophan which is an important amino acid required for the growth 
Now when this tryptophan is continuously produced, the reason is that it is continuously used and needed by the cell. So this is an on mode. What is happening in this situation is, the first promoter gene has the RNA polymerase attached to it. Repressor gene undergoes transcription translation and a protein is synthesized. That protein acts as epoenzyme and remains inactive. And that is why it is not getting attached anywhere. It is just in one side, in one corner. Because of this operator gene being free, not blocked, all these five enzymes, they get transcribed and then translated, these uh, genes rather, to form the enzyme. All these enzymes are forms of tryptophan synthetases. So using this raw material, tryptophan is synthesized and for this synthesis, these five enzymes are required. Tryptophan gets used up at a very constant rate. So there is a rare situation where this tryptophan concentration may exceed the required concentration. If that happens, then the synthesis of this needs to be stopped. And that is when this operon will be turned off. So normally, just for our understanding again, if we say at any given time, 100 tryptophan molecules must be there in the cell. The reaction or the entire process will take place at such a rate that this number is all the time maintained. But as we said, if a situation comes that there is one extra molecule or few extra molecules, that is the time the cell does not require all those extra tryptophans. In that case, they should be turned off. So let us talk about the off situation. How will this be turned off? We will draw the same thing again to understand how the off mode is going to work. Same arrangement, there is a promoter gene, a repressor gene, again a promoter and an operator gene, the regulatory part. And there are five, that is A, B, C, D and E, the structural genes which are actually transcribed and translated into enzymes. At both the promoter sites, we have this RNA polymerase attached. Here also is the enzyme RNA polymerase. And we said that this is going to produce a protein which normally remains as inactive. Say here it is inactive. And these enzymes are being produced. As soon as there is an extra tryptophan, this extra tryptophan, extra tryptophan binds with this protein and the complex which is formed is active now. We said that this protein is acting as epoenzyme, that is only inactive part. If something else joins with it, it acts as holoenzyme or it becomes active. So this complex which is formed is now active and it is going to go and bind with this operator gene. So now this active molecule that is protein plus that tryptophan. So that binds here. And if it comes and binds here, will our RNA polymerase be able to slide over it? Because of this blockage, this transcription will stop. That means there is no transcription here. And if there is no transcription, no translation, no enzyme is produced. If no enzyme is produced, there is no synthesis of tryptophan. So automatically, the extra tryptophan molecules will go on getting used up and ultimately the number which has exceeded this 100 in this example, it will come down to 100. As soon as it comes back to 100, this tryptophan, extra tryptophan will become a part of this 100. It will leave this protein and the protein will again be inactive. And if it is inactive, it is not going to attach to any operator gene. 
again transcription will start again raw material will get converted into crypto so this operon normally remains in on mode the reason is there is a continuous supply of tryptophan which is required this concentration of tryptophan in a cell is normally maintained for whatever reason if this tryptophan exceeds that concentration that extra tryptophan which is the end product in this reaction it turns the operon off by attaching with that inactive protein and as soon as that extra tryptophan attaches with the protein the complex becomes active and binds with the operator gene stopping the transcription and translation and thus that synthesis also stops here or in other words we can say that the operon has been turned off and that is why we call this as repressible or suppressible we can suppress this operon so the condition is if the end product exceeds the required concentration so now we have discussed both the operons lac operon which is inducible and tryptophan operon which is the repressible operon